excited for this one. Chowing down on a plate of pasta, you wonder whether or not they're hungry. 
Done. I hate to interrupt your mocking of me, but it's really not that simple. What you're talking about goes a little bit beyond basic human bodily functions. It's not simple cause and effect. Well, yes. I'm depressed. Are you happy? Now the answer to your question is yes. Oh. Because you don't seem it. Right, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm serious. Depression is a specific medical condition with a recognizable set of symptoms. Well, I have well, plenty I of them. Don't see any. That's because I'm irritated right now. There you go. People with suicidal depression do not get irritated. They're out of Whatever. That's why I thought there might be something else. Like what? An illness. No. Bad news, a loss. No. Fear. Of what? Oh! Someone's trying to kill you, but you don't want to wait for it to happen, so you just do it yourself. <laughs> no. Guilt? Over what? Oh, maybe you beat a man into a coma and then you realize that he was a Zen Buddhist who had taken a vow of nonviolence so he couldn't defend himself. And he had a wife and five kids and he was working on the cure for blindness. <laughs> what was the argument about? Or maybe. Maybe it was love. Love? Maybe you were heartbroken over a romance that ended or never was. So, what's so bad about that? Are you kidding? That's about the best reason to love one through yourself. Meeting the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, and then knowing it can never be. Knowing that you'll grow old and die without ever getting a look that one set of eyes that makes you feel like you're truly at peace. That one person that you can feel like you can face the world with as long as you can do it with But you just said I didn't see depressed. That's not depression. That's something far more profound. What? Salt? Excuse me? Sulking. How is that more profound than depression? I don't think you quite understand what I'm getting at. What's there not to get? You like someone, they don't like you back. Whoop -whoop -whoop. <laughs> then you go mope around for a couple of days, maybe a few weeks, playing with the idea of killing yourself just to show them how sorry you'll be when they're gone. But then you get bored with it all and get interested in someone else, and that's all that, is, right? Oh, come on, what is it, huh? I don't want to discuss this anymore. But you brought it up. That's before I realized that you lacked the emotional sophistication to understand what true loss is. I should have guessed, though, judging by your pathetic, half-hearted attempt to kill yourself. Pathetic? Half? Okay, listen, you judgmental, whatever. If we got in half the amount of rainfall we usually do, I'd be dead right now, gone. Dragged to the bottom of a dark river with my lungs filled up with water, and you'd be watching on the shore, wondering how emotionally sophisticated and depressed I was to have done it. But you did, did you? And you want to know why you didn't, because, because you're too shallow, because you never experienced a loss so profound that it would make you feel like eternal darkness is a bargain by comparison. Oh, and you have, I suppose. More than you! I can tell you that! And why are you standing here talking? Why aren't you floating off in eternal darkness all happy and carefree? Listen, I was close. This close. So what, you gave it a little wristless scratch or two too many aspirin? I drank poison, okay? What kind? None of your damn business. Well, come on, you're so committed. Tell me what poison you drank. Maybe I'll go buy some. Well, it was, I believed at the time, poison, and that's all that matters. But what, what does that mean? It means that technically what I drank, in the firm belief that it was in fact ending my life, and even though it is extremely lethal in large doses, it wasn't technically poison. So, what <coughs> was it? Butter over? <laughs> Ipecac. Oh. Pardon? Ipecac, you drink Ipecac. Ipecac. <laughs> That, that stuff makes you up. Okay, I know what it is now, all right? I know better than anyone. Before, I'd been told to never, ever touch it, and my folks kept it in the top shelf of their medicine cabinet, so I thought that it must be legal. Yeah, yeah I, I bet it felt legal. You have no idea. Anyway, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. Once I've completed one single sweet symbolic gesture, I'm going to go back and do it. So, would it be this time death by x lax <laughs> Why don't you just leave? Wait, so you get to make fun of me, but I can't say the tiniest thing about you. No, you got your dig in. I don't see why we have anything else to discuss. Well, I thought you were hurt. I thought you needed my help. I'm better. Well, I thought your arm was broken. Too damn bad. Well, I can't just leave you here. Sure you can. Go back to playing in the mud. Goodbye. Must have hurt pretty bad, though. Huh? What you have to not you, the, the person, the Ipecac guy, must have been pretty awful for you to feel. What do you mean, sulky? No. It hurt pretty badly. Well, 
sorry. Sorry, it happened. Thank you. And I'm sorry that whatever made you feel like jumping off the bridge happened to you. And if you don't tell me what it is, I'm going to strangle you with my good arm. Hey, I don't <laughs> know anything about you either. I'm sure you do. You know that I was in a romance that ended my will to live. Yeah, but you didn't go take details about it. After that moping around crack, you don't get any details without earning them. So give, kamikaze. I'm laying odds on crushing gambling pants. Stephen Jacob. Who? He's this scientist up at Harvard. Oh, and he flaunted you, and then he published your research, and then he stole your girlfriend, and you ended up broke and alone and bitter and... Maybe I should just leave. He's an author. He writes books about trilobites, and dinosaurs, and musicians, stuff like that. Anyway, a while back, I got into this big argument with this guy at work talking about how there's no 400 hitters anymore. And he you says, "You work at Harvard, and you're arguing about baseball." I don't work at Harvard. I work at a carpet warehouse. Anyway, I was I was saying it was just relief pitching, right? But this guy keeps on on and on about the right wall of human physical achievement and how I should read this book by this guy, Gold. About trial events? About evolution. Not about baseball. Yes, about baseball. It's, it's comedy, all right? So he's talking about 400 hitters, but he's really saying how we're just this big accident. Us? The people. How life is <coughs> just basically bacteria and everything else is sort of not bacteria. So? Well, it just made sense. You know, I could see it. Clearly, I could see that life is just a bunch of microbes swimming around in the dirt and everything we see around us and find beautiful is just, just a fluke. There's this statistical aberration that couldn't be repeated even if you started over. People, us, we would never happen. Again, there's nothing inevitable about any of it. So what? So everything. We're this once in 50 billion oddball chance of occurrence in everything. We live for it. Why we're here is wrong. Religion, philosophy, the transmutation of the human soul, none of it is more than just, just noise. I get it. This is one of those things where the religion and the philosophy don't agree and you put a bounty on this guy, right? Excuse me? Your group. No, no, no. Your cult sent you to snuff this guy out, but you couldn't do it. No, no, no. You did do it. And just before he croaked, you realized that he was right the whole time, but that you'd been used by the cult and... Could I just finish? Please. All right, so... I just felt bad. Because, of, okay, he didn't do anything to me. I never... I met the guy, all I did was read his stupid book and it, it made everything seem so pointless. Germs did? Not just germs. Watching all the life and creation explode like a billion, billion pop rocks and realize it just as small and as insignificant as a single one of those sparks. Pop rocks don't have sparks, they're candy. Fine. Sparklers, then a billion, billion sparklers. Sparklers don't explode. I'm sorry, but it's true. Fine, fine. Argue with everything I have to say, but if you could grasp at what he was getting at, if you could see it clearly as I do, you'd understand that feeling hopelessness isn't just when something bad happens to you, you can't get something you want. You'd understand that knowledge all by itself could drive to the edge of despair. And that intellectual crisis could just as bad as anything else life could get. So tell me. What? what? Explain it to me so I do understand. You, you already have enough to worry about. I don't want to make it worse. No, really, I want to hear it. It would be nice knowing that the things that I'm going through really aren't so terrible. Yeah, but not everyone gets it. Lots of people with the same thing. Try me. complicated. Okay, it would take a lot of time and it's almost dark. You can't do it. What? You can't explain it to me. I most certainly can. It's just 
uses a lot of technical examples to explain it. Like baseball? Yeah. I understand baseball. Yeah, but there's lots more. Okay, there's, there's horses and, and drunks, drunk staggering up to the curb. And, and and bacteria, bacteria and trees in which one weighs more. It's How all dare you? All right, now just wait a second. Intellectual crisis, my ass. Okay, just because I can't explain it to you doesn't mean it didn't affect me. Okay, when I read it the first time, I understood it just fine. Which means if I read it again, it would have the same effect on me. Which means I can tell you that life is meaningless without actually being able to say why. Stop. You're casting a shadow across my soul. All right, look, maybe I'll get you a copy for yourself. I'm actually surprised he was able to write the whole thing. Seems like once he figured out how tiny and insignificant he was, he would have just nosedived straight into the charge. Ha, huh, chance. What's that mean? That means there's no way people like him are ever going anywhere. But why? He must know better than anyone how nothing matters, right? Well, except for you, of course. And he might even be able to articulate some of it. Yeah, but people like him just don't. Don't like yeah, don't have a great job writing lots of books and getting lots of money and having a big house and proud of your life and maybe some kids. Nice car with monster seats. And pointy hairs and hands. Really cool sunglasses with a really nice watch and go ahead and check out and all that. But why? know better than anyone how nothing matters, right? Right. All the more reason to hunker down to your beach house and try to help to live forever. No, I'll tell you when. It's, it's when your life is so crappy you embarrass yourself just thinking of it. But you keep at it because it must be meant to be, it must be for some reason. But then you read some rich idiot's book telling you just the tick on the ass of an evolutionary elephant and what's left. You have no family, no friends, your girlfriend so long ago, you can't even fantasize about her anymore without feeling guilty because she's too old for you now. You look out at the world. you wonder... Excuse me? Your girlfriend, when she older as well? Yeah, like, don't remember her that way. Anyway, that's, that's it. You add up everything worth living for and you get a negative number. Like this credit card you're looking out at the edge of papers. That's when you do the nose up. Write it down exactly. Like so. How much older? Pardon? How much older are you now than your girlfriend was then? I don't. What, what does that have to do with anything? I just want to get an idea of what you think is too old. Why would you care in the slightest? It's just one of those things that people have different opinions on. Listen, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. But you did bring it up, so. Yeah, not to talk about it. Fine, whatever. You were saying? Like. 
Regular? Yes. Just how everyone wants to be described. Oh, not, 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 not regular. I mean, not just, not special in any way. Then what do you fantasize about? She was funny. Yeah. Smart. Always reading. Do you fantasize about her? I remember it. Yeah, I remember being in her apartment and her being in mine. I was watching TV and staying up late watching. It was her dance, huh? Us. She would miss all my faults and call me a jerk because of it, but she would say with this smile that made it seem like she loved everything about me. It's personal. Yeah, I know everything was wrong about the person. Yes. I I had a problem with the cat. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, he pissed in my hamper when she was staying with me and I I sort of gave her an ultimatum. Yeah, I know. I didn't know, alright? And she left so fast I barely even had a chance to apologize. better with her, I'll tell you that. And the cat would die eventually. Did you think about her this? Think about her everything. I mean when you were going off the bridge. <coughs> no, it's it's yeah. It was it was mainly the bacteria thing, but she flickered there for a second. You know, that sounds suspiciously like romantic salt game. No, it's not. See, I knew you would say that if I told you I wasn't jumping because of her. Okay, I would have done it a long time ago if she was the reason. But if she's still here, would you have done it? I don't know. I might not even read that stupid book. But if you had, and she went home with pizza and a movie, would you still have I don't think that intellectual crisis happens to people who don't have girlfriends at that stuff. I don't know, I did exactly bring the car. I was expecting him coming back. No, you want me to that's okay. I just, I just mean, what's next for you? I mean, try something else, I guess. Oh. Or wait till, we see, wait till we get some rain. I really had my heart set on the bridge thing. You might want to try a bigger bridge next time. Oh yeah, this is the only one we have for now. And go somewhere, drive up to New York, see a show, make a weekend out of it. <laughs> but wouldn't that ruin the weekend if I knew I was gonna jump right after? It might, or it might make it better. I don't know, it's an uncharted water here. Yeah, yes. So, what are your plans? It's nice. Everything sort of got more off for me. How? Well, I had this thing that I wanted to do, but now I'm not sure when I'll be able to do it. Well, tell me. I'd rather not. <laughs> Come on, maybe I can help. I was going to throw this in the river. What is that, a ring? A ring box, yes. But not the ring. Well, I figured that it would be a sin to throw anything of real value into the river, and since this is technically what he presented me with, I feel like it would work just fine. Yeah, that makes sense. But I throw it in the right hand. Oh. I can do it for you. No, it's okay. Well, come on, it'd be just the same as if you did it. But I wouldn't be doing it myself. But she would see to it that it got done. I don't see an issue. I don't think that's how it works. Well, I mean, we don't know how it works. We're in Uncharted waters. Yeah. Fine. Chuck away. <laughs> Thanks. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Nat. Feel Good. better? <laughs> we'll give it some time. Ready to go? Oh, yeah.
So, but, you know, maybe now you don't have to. Oh, well, you know. I'm going to kill myself? Yeah. You think I changed my mind that easy? Well, I'm not saying that. Throw away my little ring box and everything I'm feeling goes flying away with it. No, I, I just, I was, I was thinking about the New York trip you suggested. Oh. And I think if you, you wanted to, it was weird or anything. I, I know it's a big personal thing, but if oh, Are wanted, you asking me to jump with you? Only if you think it would, it would help you, I know. Bridges aren't forever. No, the bridge is fine. It's just I'm not sure when I'll be doing it as all. Well. Oh, well, I mean, that's, that's fine. And you can call me anytime. Let me know. See a show? Uh, yeah. A museum, a ballpark, anything if you want. That'd be nice. Yeah, and I can give you a copy of that. But, if you're interested. I like that. I read a lot, you know? 